think some people are generally born to be entrepreneurs, born to work for themselves. And when I say that, what I mean is there are some people that can wake up in the morning, open the to-do list, start cranking out the shipping, start cranking out the listing. They can start calling customers. They can start processing sales orders. Um, they can start working on a car, whatever it is that's on their to-do list for their business or for their operation. They can just wake up, hit the alarm clock at 7.30, 8 o'clock and they're on it. Half hour later, shower, dressed and at work or at the office or in their office. And there's just some people that are born to do that and they can put their head down and they can grind for eight, 10 and in most cases 12 or 14 hours, come home, eat dinner and go back to work. And there are some people that you've probably heard the phrase in the past, uh, probably heard it from a couple of other YouTubers, successful bigger guys. Uh, Mark Cuban I think has said it and uh, they're called entrepreneurs. They want to be entrepreneurs. They want to work for themselves. They want to make money, but they wake up and they pour coffee and they go sit on the couch and they watch some TV and they might open up their computer and get started and then they got to get up and go start the laundry and then they got to go run to the store and then they come back and they'll work on something for a few minutes and then, oh my God, the kids got to get, you know, ready and then they got to sit down and work for a few more minutes and then oh the dog needs to go for a walk and I need to go to the gym and you know I, I hear a lot of people tell me in a lot of messages I get in comments that they've got to have a life and they've got kids and a husband or a wife or you know and a, a real job or they've got they've got I don't know things to do they've got other things on the list of to do's and that's fine if that's what you've got going on awesome Take care of what you got going on. Take care of the family, take care of the kids, whatever it is. But I can tell you, even though I don't have kids and even though I don't have a, you know, a lot of other responsibilities outside of work, that there are a bunch, I mean many, many entrepreneurs who are very, very successful, who make millions of dollars, who make hundreds of thousands of dollars, whatever your definition of success is, they do it and they've got kids They've got responsibilities. They find time to go to the gym. They find time to let the dogs out. They find time to go to the park. They find time to make dinner. They find time for all those things. And I think the true difference between an entrepreneur and a wantrepreneur is that an entrepreneur just does it. And a wantrepreneur wants to do it. But they always have an excuse why they didn't do it. And my lesson for today is stop making excuses. I hear it every day. When I got kids, Casey, you don't know what it's like to, to raise two kids and have to get them off to school and have to feed them and have to pick them up from the bus stop and have to do all these things that I have to do every day. And if you had to do all that, you wouldn't be able to do what you did either. And what are you going to do when you have kids? What are you going to do when you got more to take care of than just two dogs? And you know what? You're right. It's going to suck. I'm not going to have the time that I have now. It's going to be awesome having kids and a family, but it's going to suck to lose the time that I lose. But you know what? I'm going to have to make up for it somewhere. No playing a video game on my phone at night. No going out drinking or partying. No doing any of this stuff that we do now unless we streamline the business, which is obviously the plan. And that's where the difference and again, an entrepreneur and a wantrepreneur come into play. When things get in the way and responsibilities have to be taken care of, which they do, and most of you have those responsibilities, so I'm not dogging on any of you, I'm just saying, you have to make alternative time, you have to stop making excuses, and you have to just figure out how to do it. If you're gonna be an entrepreneur and you want to be an entrepreneur, don't be a wantrepreneur. Be an entrepreneur and do it. And uh, I hope you guys understand that. I hope you don't take that the wrong way. I hope you don't take that as me being mean, but if you want to do it, you want to be a full-time reseller, you want to be a full-time stockbroker, you want to be a full-time web designer, website builder, you want to be a full-time YouTuber, whatever it is that you want to be, you better make the time and stop making excuses. Make time, not make excuses. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up if it helped you, if it gave you a little bit of a kick in the butt today. And I uh, really appreciate it. Make sure you share this video with anybody else you know that might need a kick in the butt. I really appreciate that. And uh, be back tonight with another video here on a Tuesday. Um, out doing a little sourcing right now and gonna do a lot of listing 
when I get home. So I appreciate everybody joining. As always, my social media links are down in the description box below, as well as a lot of the equipment that I use on a daily basis. If you need any of that stuff, scales, envelopes, padded, polys, lighting kit, whatever you need, it's down there below. Really cheap, directly off Amazon, great service. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Appreciate you staying, checking this video out, and uh, let's talk again real soon. Bye guys.